So kindly came back to talk through this crazy market that we're in. Um, inventory is a little bit low in certain price points. And so you really, as a buyer, have to be super competitive when making offers. And so there's things that your lender can do to help you to position you so that you're ready to go. And there's some things that you can do so that you're set up for success when the right one finally does come along that you're interested in. So let's talk about what can you do up front if you think you might want to buy in the near future. Okay, I'm going to give an example from today, and I don't want to step on, on Lauren's toes at all. So listen to her on multiple offer on what to do. But an example from today, we sent a pre-approval letter out yesterday uh, for a woman buying a house. I think it was 175, right? Everybody wants 175 and, and, and have multiple offers on it. So we got a call this morning from the listing agent. The, the seller's realtor calls us and says, hey, where are you with this buyer? Um, and so we are giving them everything they want to know to, to make the seller feel comfortable about the buyer buying that house. And so if I had to say to that listing agent, hey, I haven't seen their credit. I don't know about their income. I don't know about their assets. I don't know if they qualify. Um, they're probably not going to get that offer. They're going to move on. They will move on. <laughs> that's not a great part. Now, the great thing is that you need a lender that's going to answer the phone. Yes. Yeah. We will answer the phone. Which is really important. And and I think that's in the competitive market, a local lender is really helpful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Someone and, that the listing agent maybe knows. Yes. And and they have a reputation for getting things closed. And so when you're looking as a seller at a list of, you know, however many offers, you want to know, okay, like, and I know that Gateway and Tom Rosser can get that close. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm choosing between lenders, I think that's a great choice. So that's another way to position yourself is in your lender choice from the get go. Yes. Uh, this, we don't know if this person got it yet. So hopefully I'll tell you the, the, the end of the story at some point, but we were able to tell the listing agent, you know, we've seen their credit, we've underwritten their income, we've underwritten their assets. Uh, they are as solid as a buyer gets and they absolutely qualify for this house. Uh, so hopefully we help them get that offer. Uh, we don't know yet. We're crossing our fingers. Okay. So if you are thinking about entering the market. Get then, it all taken care of up front. Yeah. Get your credit checked. Um, provide income and asset and identity documentation so that if a listing agent calls us, we can give them all that good news. Yes, they're fully qualified. They're ready to go. They've done all their homework. Yeah. And as opposed to borrower who only had a credit check from an online yeah, so the other, the other route would be they told us their income and they told us their assets and they told us their credit, but we haven't documented it. Um, and so the, the listing agent or the, the real estate agent would say, hey, if you haven't documented it, they're not serious. Right. Okay, so picking your lender in a competitive market is really important and making sure that you go ahead, even though they're asking you for lots and lots of things, they're doing it for a reason mm -hmm. and it sets you up as a much stronger buyer when competing in multiple offers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.